Uh, yeah, no, I am dead serious. Uh, you can't be serious. You gotta be joking. Well, so why is it that people always think people are joking? Uh, I mean, the more serious it is, it seems like the more people think that it's a joke. Well, because you can't. Yes, I can. And I just did. See, if you just be a little bit more, well, put it bluntly, gay, you know, like flamboyant, uh, it's just you're too straight and you're too white and you're too straight. And it doesn't, uh, it clashes with the brand. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, so just like that, she fired me. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, not, oh, yeah, I got fired for being white and straight. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, join the club, bro. Uh, but there's nothing we can do about that. I mean, she's uh, the boss, and there's no, uh, and white men don't have any uh, recourse. Uh, diversity forgot to add the white guy, I guess. Uh, huh. So, how come you get to stay? I mean, you're a straight white guy. How come you get to have a job? Oh, uh, because my, I'm married to the, uh, you know, boss. So it helps if you're married to the boss. So, yeah, I can't take your case. There's nothing I can do for you, bro. Start a blog or something like that. A blog, I don't even know what that is. Well, I, I can't really, I, you know, I can't really do anything for you. I see you're just going to drop me like that. You're just going to let them, uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do for you, bro. I don't want to be even associated with it. The longer I stand here talking to you, I'm going to be considered an ally. Oh, okay, so you just gotta be, uh, yeah, I gotta, yeah, exactly, forget, block my number, I mean, yeah, lose my number, bro, just lose it, forget that you even, uh, know me, ding, 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 <sighs> she'll help me, pretty sure she'll help me, she's a big activist, so. oh, hey, yeah, may I help you, uh, yeah, may I help you, is there anything I can do for you? Yeah, I'm a civil rights uh, activist uh, lawyer. Yeah, I deal with, uh, you know, illegal firings and uh, civil right, you know, abuse. Oh, yeah, well, I was just fired from a job for being too white and straight. And, uh, yeah, and that, that's against the law. You can't dis uh, disintegrate. Uh, but, yeah, I don't... I, yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, uh, hey, is this Antifa? Hey. Oh, it's Antifa. Yeah, Black Lives Matter. Ah. Yeah, Black Lives Matter all day long. Black Lives Matter, bitch. Everybody singing. So, uh, yeah, so. Oh, okay, great. So, when did you then? Uh, well, uh, yeah, then I went on vacation. <laughs> What else was I supposed to do, you know? Uh, I can, it's still legal to be white on vacation, yeah. Yeah, I could still vacation on beaches, I think. <laughs> I'm still allowed to do that. Oh, uh, yeah, so this guy uh, left you a note. Uh, dear white guy, <laughs> yeah, might as well just kill yourself because uh, there's nothing we can do for you. Uh, it's, oh, my God, are you okay, ma'am? Oh, uh, they had a big emergency. Oh, the white guy saved his life. Oh, yeah, so it turned out to... to so, yeah, he's the big guy. Oh, he's a big guy? He's a real important guy? Yeah. And this guy saved his life. Oh, yeah, so since he saved his life, uh, and he's a real important guy, they said that you could have your job back. Oh, okay, so I can have my job back now because I saved somebody's life. That's important. Uh, uh, maybe I don't want it back. Uh, you know what I mean? Cause, uh, I mean, who's to say they were, I mean, I don't, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like I don't want to even be around that, those kind of people if that's the way they are. But I do need a job. You know, I can't be a psychiatrist like you. I mean, that, what an easy job that is, right? I mean, you, you're one of those psychiatrists that are mandated, <laughs> right? You get mandated or some shit like that. Every company has to have one of you. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. Psychiatry is a real big scam. 
uh, yeah, but uh, but it's working, you know. I mean, and it's like yeah, it's a pretty easy job. Uh, but back to you again. So are you gonna? Uh, so yeah, your time's up. But yeah, so good luck to you. Uh, yeah, they said they'll hire you back, so you should go ahead and take that uh, take that offer. You know, you can take what you can get. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was horrific. Uh, there was Antifa. I, okay, yeah, and they broke into my house. And uh, thanks to this straight white guy, I'm saved. Yeah, you saved my life. Yeah. So do you think you'll help me now with my case? Uh, yeah, I didn't say that because, uh, you know, I still got to... Yeah, I mean, I have, to, I have my reputation to think of too, you know. If I'm associated with this case like this, you know, uh, my, all my uh, rainbow people won't come to me, you know, and they're my biggest uh, clientele. Those are like the biggest whiners that there are. Seems like the more rights they get, the more they want. And they're always complaining about something. But uh, yeah, straight white guys just kind of out right now. You're the, you're the bad time uh, for you to be around, you know. Uh, I guess I, you could say like... Uh, your run is over. <laughs> Your time has come. Yeah, and the straight white guy is over with. Oh my god. Yeah, and there's a, you don't have anybody in your corner. Not even like your own females. Yeah, your own com females are convinced that you're a Nazi, you know, racist guy. Uh, I, I think maybe maybe if you didn't uh, rush us off to college, right? If you would have found us a husband. You know, like they did in the olden days. But when you sent us off to college, we got brainwashed and we got an attitude and we got promiscuous. And it's all uh, daddy's fault because daddies are supposed to find their daughter's husbands. And you guys didn't do that. You lo you sent us away where we got brainwashed and convinced uh, into going against nature. Hey, hey, look. That's, your, that's between you and your dad. I had nothing to do with that. What are we doing here? Bob, a ponytail cop. And those are like my, you know, the most dangerous kind that there is. I got a little bit of power now. I'm going to be abuse of power. <clears throat> yeah, and all I wanted was a family. All I wanted was a husband. And, okay, hey, look, lady, that's not, that's between you and your dad, you know. That's not, has nothing to do with me, you know. Yeah, but you're still a man. You remind me a lot of, hey, look, I can't help what your dad did. You can't leave me here. If you're going to jump, you can't just leave me here tied up. Hey, don't just leave me here tied up. Nobody will ever find me. Uh, I'm having a flashback. Oh, yeah, this is a flashback where, yeah, uh, my dad jumped over. Oh, my God, don't jump, because what about me? Hey, nobody will find me here. Oh, my gosh, she did not just jump. You son of a bitch. Oh, I'm tied to her? Oh, I'm tied to her. Oh, wow, that was pretty tricky. Oh, my God, yeah, this is a real suspenseful. Do you see what white guys are capable of doing when you get two women together? Wow, they outsmart one female. Look at that, bro. See, the two of us, we outsmarted her. And we're still alive and she's dead. You mean you're still alive? I'm not alive. I'm not going to make it, bro. You saved my life. I'll keep up the charge. Yeah, take the power back. That's all I ask. Take the power back. Can you do that for me? Promise. Promise me to take the power back. Uh. Yeah, you have to make feminism illegal. <laughs> no, you gotta make pornography illegal. Right, and then they'll keep the women from doing OnlyFans. Wow. Yeah, and then they'll start paying attention and caring about what's going on. Yeah, and they'll start well, caring about other stuff. But if they don't care about themselves, they won't care. Oh, yeah, so you had somebody beat you up and you're an only girl fan when of your clients did? Yeah, unfortunately, we there's nothing we could do about that. When you're an only fan, yeah, you know, I mean, it, that, you set yourself up and there's really nothing that, you know, 
the police aren't going to investigate that. It's like, you, you know, you're asking for it when you go in there and have clients. So, yeah. So, I guess you're probably going to die. And uh, I'll try to use your death as some kind of a maybe ban on pornography or something like that. I'll try to talk to some kind of, you know, get a petition going or something. Yeah. Uh, damn, time. We're running out of time. Yeah, pretty soon women are going to be outlawed because you're not going to have any value. You're going to be replaced with robots. You know that? Unless you ban pornography. Yeah. Oh, you mean like they did when they banned alcohol? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, that way, that way people, oh, oh, the congressmen won't be blackmailed anymore. If you make uh, pornography illegal, they won't be able to expose anybody. And then maybe they'll be able to do their job. Yeah. All right, so, all right, yeah, I'll use your death as, like, a, a reason why we should ban pornography, okay? All right, great. Sorry you had to die. I hope uh, you rest in peace.